Hi, I'm Joe, and today we're going to talk about Prim's algorithm for solving minimum spanning trees. Prim's algorithm finds the minimum spanning tree of a weighted graph. A minimum spanning tree is a subset of edges that reaches every vertex, has minimum total weight, and has no cycles. Prim's does this by building a tree from a single vertex by adding the cheapest edge to an unmapped vertex. So here's a simple tree we're going to look at. You might be able to look at this and say, well, I can easily pick out three edges that could cover the entire tree. So C to A to B to D. You cover all four vertices with just three edges. Is that the minimum spanning tree, though? Well, you could do use edge three a lot cheaper than edge eight. So let's say we switch from edge 8 to edge 3. Do we, do we now have a minimum spanning tree? Well, we still span the entire tree, but it's not the minimum spanning tree, as we'll see in a minute. So let's dig into prims, and let's choose a vertex to start from. So our minimum spanning tree, start, we're going to start with just vertex A, because alphabetically. We'll draw a line around all vertices in the tree, which in this case is just one vertex, A. We list all edges out of the tree. So we have choices of 5, 6, and 8. Which one are we going to choose? Edge 5. It's the cheapest. So now our minimum spanning tree includes vertices A and D. We redraw the tree perimeter around A and D. And we say, what is the cheapest way out of our minimum spanning tree, A and D, to reach a new vertex? Well, all four edges would do that that are remaining. And the cheapest one of those is three, which goes to vertex C. So we'll pick the cheapest edge. We'll redraw the tree perimeter. We can see at this point that we're not going to use edge six, because we've already reached edges A and C. And we have two edges left. So we'll list all the out edges from the tree, edges four and eight. Edge 4 is certainly the cheapest, so there is our minimum spanning tree. So there are now two edges in the tree that we don't use. We take those away, the unused edges, and our minimum spanning tree looks like this. So let's take a more complicated graph. We're going to choose a vertex to start from. Again, we'll start from A. You can actually start from any vertex you like. It's going to work out the same. Draw a line around all the vertices in the tree, which at this point is just vertex A. Then we're going to list all out edges from the tree. And the cheapest edge is obviously edge 1 going to vertex F. So we're going to pick that vertex, F, edge 1. We're going to redraw our tree perimeter. Now we're going to list out all the edges of the tree that go out of our tree AF. The cheapest edge is CF with a cost of 2. So we're going to pick that edge. We map that into our tree, draw, redraw the perimeter line. And then we look at all, vertice, all edges out of the tree AFC. That's our tree now. So the cheapest edge now is BC with a weight of 4. So we pick the edge 4. We redraw our tree perimeter. We can see at this point now that we're not going to need edges AB at a weight of 8 or BF at a weight of 6. We're just not going to use those in an understanding tree. Those are going to be left over. So now let's list out all the edges going out from our tree. We have those in black. Edge 5 is the cheapest. Now there are two different edges that both cost 5. We can choose either one. It's not going to make a difference. It'll give us the both will give us the minimum spanning tree, although a slightly different minimum spanning tree will be at the same total cost. So in my algorithm, I always choose the first one alphabetically, which is AE. So we're going to pick that. We redraw the tree perimeter. We list out all the edges out of the tree. And we pick the cheapest, which is edge 3, going to vertex H. Now pick the cheapest edge to vertex G, and you're done, which is 7. You can see at this point that there's only one vertex left uncovered. 
that's G, and there are two edges going to it, 7 and 9. We pick the cheapest one at 7. So uh, we'll take a shortcut here on the last vertex and say, well, we're going to pick edge 7 to map uh, vertex G. And that's our minimum spanning tree. So if we take away the unused edges, you can see here there are five unused edges. They usually tend to be the more expensive edges, but not necessarily. In this case, edge 9, edge 8, edge 6, unused. Prim's algorithm is known as a greedy algorithm. And what that means is that every time it is faced with a choice, it chooses the cheapest option. It was developed by a Czech mathematician, Jarnikin, and Robert Prim. And it runs in time big O of E log V, where E is the number of edges in the graph and V is the number of vertices. I'm Joe James. Thank you for watching.